Today I'm going to talk about Azure Reserved Virtual Machine Instances. Okay, uh, This is essentially a payment option in Azure that allows you to save money by pre-committing to a one-year or a three-year term for virtual machine usage for the compute. Okay, It offers up to 72% in savings off of a standard pay-as-you-go plan. Uh, you know, in, in, in this case, your best scenario is that you know you're going to use Azure Virtual Machines for the next year or three years for your cloud workloads. So uh, you're pre-committing, saying, I'm going to use this, uh, I'm going to give you my money up front, and, and um, you're going to save up to 72% by doing so, okay? Now, one big caveat here is that it covers only the virtual machine compute, right? So the networking, uh, other software, other Azure services, other storage. So if you're going to store activity logs for the virtual machine and blob storage, all those other things uh, do not get applied to that reserve instance contract. Okay. Uh, also, on that note, Windows licensing, SQL Server licensing would not be covered. So plan accordingly, right? And use your Azure hybrid benefit, you know, which allows you to bring your own uh, on-prem Windows and SQL licenses to Azure. Um, if you don't know about the Azure hybrid benefit, you should check that out. Um, you know, oftentimes it's, it's advantageous for people who've purchased on-prem licensing for their uh, servers. Now, uh, anybody who's using an enterprise agreement currently or a pay-as-you-go plan, uh, you, you are eligible, right? And, and it will build, be billed accordingly to what you're using, right? So um, if you're using enterprise agreement, it's going to be reduced against your EA. Um, or if you're using a pay-as-you-go plan, it's going to use that credit card that you pay. So basically you go in, you specify the machine type. Um, you know, you specify, specify your term, and from there, it's going to bill you for that initial uh, term, okay? Now, when you purchase um, your, your reserved instances, it's, it's pretty much instantaneous, right? And what it'll do is it's going to detect those machine types in your current subscriptions, or if you're at, as you're adding new machine types, it's going to apply that savings to your machine types. Uh, so, for instance, you know that you're going to need four D12 servers for the next year. Um, you know, you're, you're doing a hybrid deployment in Azure, and you're starting to bring some servers up, um, and you know you're going to use them for the next year because that's part of your, your migration plan, if you will, right? So, uh, you're going to experience a very good savings by pre-committing up front and saying, I'm going to use these Azure services for the next 12 months. Um, you know, the, the scope of um, the, the reserved, uh, reserved instance actually can go across multiple subscriptions, right? So, uh, you know, if you, you've got those four machines and three of them are in one subscription and the others in the other, you can, uh, you know, it'll, it'll span across those and apply the discount to both. Now, one thing to note is that when the term expires of the RI, it's over, okay? It does not auto-renew uh, and your discount ends. And I'm sure this is sort of multi-beneficial, right? So it's Microsoft saying, okay, uh, we want you to go out and, and re-up your contract um, and, you know, pick your, your hardware the way you want it. But at the same time, you're not stuck using that same hardware uh, that you specified originally. So, um, you, know, you know, it's multi-beneficial. Um, and one other thing to note is that reserved instances cannot be used for enterprise dev test subscriptions or virtual machines in preview. Uh, so keep that in mind when you're, you know, determining what you're going to use and, and uh, you know, where you're going to get your most value from your Azure subscription. Uh, if you have any questions around Azure subscriptions as different types of plans, licensing, um, you know, anything Azure in general, we're here to help, you know. So click the link below. We're happy to help out. We're, we're really, really enjoying this um, the cloud immersion and, and adoption, and, and we want to be a source for you uh, to move your projects forward. So um, please uh, reach out to the link below, uh, reach out to your sales rep, uh, and we're here standing by to help. So otherwise, have a great day, and thanks for listening.